Welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In today's video, we will explore how to perform question answering from PDF documents using the powerful OpenAI ChatGPT API and leverage the open source embedding from the GPT-4 all library. This combination will enable us to build a sophisticated question answering system that can extract answers from PDF files with ease. So let's dive right in. So first of all, we can see what are the prerequisites uh, needed or like the packages we need to download for this tutorial. So uh, we need python.env and uh, which we can install pip install python.env. And then we can, we need this Fitch library. So Fitch library is used to extract the data from uh, PDF reports like the raw text. So uh, we need to install uh, by giving pip install pymu PDF. Then we are loading a couple of modules from Langchain. So we need Langchain, pip install Langchain would do. And then we also need to install uh, GPT-4 all library. So that is pip install GPT-4 all. So these are the libraries which are required for um, loading or kind of working with this particular system or this uh, entire script actually. So first of all, uh, we can load the API for um, GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 type or whichever which you guys are actually using. So uh, I've created a environmental file .env and in this file, I've actually mentioned all my credentials actually, like my deployment name, model name, endpoint, version, key. So you can either give it as an environmental file or you can directly give open AI deployment name is equal to just give the deployment name here. Just give the model name. And if you want to just give it as a secret key, then just use the .env format, which I've actually used in this tutorial. So uh, that's the first step. And then you can actually load all these uh, keys and credentials here then there are a couple of modules which we are actually loading here so from langchain we are loading character text splitter to split the entire chunk of text into different subsection and then there is um, files for vector store and then we have this Azure chat open ai which is like the module which kind of load the llm then we have something called gpt4 all embedding we need this to kind of uh, download the model. So, so we can do this uh, in couple of different ways. So let me open GPT for all library uh, uh, web page. So GPT for all is more like a platform where you can actually uh, download some models and stuff. So here there is a section called model explorer where you can select different models. So like, uh, there are like a lot of different models available in this uh, model explorer. So let me just minimize the screen. So here you can see the list of models here. So a uh, lot of these models are like, so let me take this model. So this model is like around 6 GB, 7 GB size, I think 13 billion model. And this cannot be used commercially. And then there are some other models and this model is uh, embedding model which we can actually download and use it so this is also there so for this tutorial we will be using this model from gpt for all for embeddings actually we will not be using text embeddings ada which is uh, the paid api from openai we will not be using that we will not be using that model we will be only using the llm at the last stage but for embedding we will be only using this uh, free version so this you can actually download it by clicking here and then just paste that model in this folder. So see users, your account dot cache, then GPT for all. So there's, there will be a folder for GPT for all. If you get inside GPT for all, you can actually go and copy paste your model here from the download. So once you download the model from this web page, you can simply go and paste it in this folder so that 
when it's loaded it will load from this space or memory so uh, i think that's it now let's get started and then uh, i will explain one by one each of these components so first of all these three inputs we don't have much doubt now i am actually giving a uh, load dot env this is to just load the file load the credentials from my dot env file so once i actually load i also gave this parameter override equal to true so that like if at all something is there in the previous set like it will be overwritten so it's just for a safe side i am actually giving because i kind of faced some issues so uh once you install pip install pymu pref you are free to use fits package so import fits and then i am installing character text splitter files and azure chat open ai gpt4 and load qa chain so lo this load qa chain will be an giving the final and like we'll be using in the final step action now here we need to give os.get env uh, for loading all the credentials i have copy pasted a, a report so this is amazon's uh, 2021 sustainability report actually uh, which will be using it for this demonstration purpose so i just downloaded a random report and uh, we'll be actually asking some questions from this report so that's uh, that's a report actually which we'll be using and i have just placed it in this folder you are free to choose any folder just give the location so now this is an important step actually so let me just run all this all right so now we need to load the embedding model here so so as i said like once you download the model from this model explorer and put it in that cache memory then you can actually load this gpt for all uh, that model embedding model so when i run that gpt for all model since it's already there it just found the model in that location if it's not there then it will download that embedding model and it will place it there actually so either way it's fine if you want to download you can download or else while running itself it will download that model and place it in that folder next step is we need to invoke the llm model so for that we can use azure chat open ai and specify all the parameters like deployment name model name version base key all these informations so i'm going to invoke my llm you have the llm which is um, invoked actually so if you just select this llm and then if you run then you will be able to see all the credentials in the console which i am not doing at this moment so if you have further doubts then just go and check like what are the what are the stuffs which are required so here it's defined ideally Uh, all the information which are needed and what all information you can actually give also like you you will you will get to know ideally so next you will download or you will load the pdf data so here as i said i am going to load my sustainability report of amazon i am just opening this pdf using the fits package so it created the doc object and this is just computing how many pages it has so doc dot page underscore count so this is a latest fits version so that's the reason why it's underscore so in the previous version it was page capital c or something like that there was no underscore so just make sure which version you are and just tweak the code based on that so similarly load page and even the page uh, get text command has differences so we we are going to load we are going to iterate through these pages from 0 to n and then we are loading that page then we are extracting the content and we are appending into an empty string so that's what we are doing here so now we get the entire data from the raw text from the pdf 
so we have this entire text content and what is the size so we have it here actually so next thing we can split using character text splitter which we loaded from lang chain so simply run this command and then we initiated the text splitter so we have the text splitter from lang chain now we are going to apply this on our doc content so when we just apply it on our doc content we have the entire data here so so now we have around 546 chunks so each each one of them are actually divided and you can see it is divided pretty like the division is pretty good because so let's say the report is to support our employees or supply so from here it starts ideally so the the possibility of losing information for embedding will be minimized if you do this overlapping which is a pretty good fee functionality we often do this and it's a good thing that lang chain brought this functionality so that we don't really lose out the essence of the paragraph or the content which we are exploring next thing we are we need to employ document search so for that we are using files so for that it's nothing but we are going to embed the data so it will take a little bit of time because it has to embed 546 uh, chunks actually so one by one it has to embed and then we'll be having that kind of uh, document embedding for the entire data so it worked it it got, just got completed and we are also going to load our llm into the chain so for that chain variable so for that we are using load qa chain and chain type is given as stuff now once you run this we have the chain which is initiated and now we have the embedding also so ideally document search is nothing but uh, so you can see it's a vector store and it is a file subject all right so we have the data we have the llm we have the embeddings everything is ready so next thing the final step so we need to ask the question so so one of the question which i want to ask was what what is the amount of scholarship award declared for students i kind of saw this somewhere um, it was uh, mainly related to some student scholarship or something which uh, which we like which was detailed in the report i think this one aws launched yeah here we can see 10 million scholarship program so it's pretty interesting like uh once the llm is working on extracting this kind of so let's see whether it will extract so when i when i'm giving this query and i'm giving so next thing is the final one is similarity search so it's it's like uh, the similarity matrix so ideally docx will return list of four important documents which it find it relevant so here there is a parameter called uh, i think it will be k let's try that i think it is k correct it's k and if we give it as 10 what it happens is it will pull 10 important documents from that chunk by default it will pull four even if if you don't give anything it will just uh, pull out four important documents next the final step chain dot run we are giving the input documents as this docs not the entire set and now the query so once we give this we are getting the result ideally so about this question so let's print the results there are different scholarship award mentioned in the context aws in community scholarship offers a total of correct so this is what the output is actually and it's talking about some other scholarship also which essentially it's correct so let's uh, give some other query this is pretty interesting because 
we are literally loading the entire data and then we are just asking the questions by running some embeddings and we are getting the precise output which is very accurate as well. The given context doesn't provide a specific answer to your question. Okay, so how much carbon was burned for the financial year? It mentions that the absolute carbon emission increased by 18 percentage in 2021, but carbon intensity decreased by one point. So it's giving some information which is related to this question. But yeah, it, it makes sense. Maybe in the report, it may not be mentioned. So this is the level of output which we are getting from this system. It's pretty efficient. It's very efficient, I would say, because uh, we are not doing so much engineering on top of it. Like we are just loading the LLM, we are running the embedding and we are asking the questions and we are getting the result. So here, as you, as you saw, like we are using a free embedding along with a paid API. So in the next tutorial, I'll be uh, explaining how we can load the free embedding and by replacing this paid embedding with paid LLM with a open source LLM. So the entire stack is open source, I would say. So I'll be doing a video on that. So that's it for today. And thank you guys for watching this video.